So if you set your punch in and you punch out, you can actually add effects to just certain parts. So the Lexus Audio Editor is a free audio editor for iPhone and iPad. Unlike many other audio editors like this, it doesn't have any paid features. It doesn't have anything handicapped. There's no premium upgrade add-on options. Well, no, I tell a lie. There's one. There's MP3 encoding, which you really don't need because you can use other apps like uh, uh, the Voice Record Pro app to do that. But this is a very similar, if you used Audacity, this is a very similar product to that and it works really, really well. So let's just do a quick test run here. We'll open a file. So to open a file, we tap on open in the top there. You can import from iTunes, but more useful will be import from iCloud. Because if we tap browse, this is going to bring us into our very familiar browse section where you can actually go not only to iCloud, but to anywhere else, any other locations you have here. So I keep a lot of my audio files here in audio share. And here's one I prepared earlier for this test, which is this whistling idea that for some reason I voice recorded myself whistling a while back. Let's just test the audio, make sure this is coming through. We'll hit play up the top here. Why won't it pause? <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn that down. This is a great advertisement for you, Lexus. Uh, I hit play and it's not letting me stop now. It's letting me skip through, but why won't it let me play and pause and stop? Oh, it's that stop. Why are there two stop buttons? Why is there... What? Oh, this is really, really quite strange. Notice that there's two pause buttons and two stop buttons. Okay, that's wacky because that, that's something weird. It's done something different. I think the, I think the, uh, the interface here may... Uh, may not be compatible here because if you look, it, yeah, it's different to the one that we have on here and it's not quite working out. All right, let's see if we can bumble our way through this and we'll use the correct buttons, but that's that's just a little bit weird. Uh, see, now it's now it's kind of crashed. All right, we'll, we'll close it and reopen it. <laughs> uh, isn't it oh, look at what we got now. Good Lord. All right, let's try and open something. File is not saved. You want to save it. Discard it and open a new file. Something wacky going on there. Okay, it's free. Did I mention it's free? <laughs> the beauty of live. I know Jade's chuckling to herself because uh, she knows that these sort of things will just happen. All right, so assuming that you get to hear and things are working, let's just try this again. We'll play. And we'll turn the volume back up. And we'll hit the correct stop button, which is this one down here. Okay, it seems to all be working fine as long as we do that. So what we can do with this, you've got your playhead here. You can position that wherever you like. And again, if you've used Audacity on Mac or PC, you'll know that you can adjust these sliders and you can set just different sections. So if you set your punch in and you punch out, you can actually add effects to just certain parts. So let's just say that the first whistle, we don't want something on. But this second one, we want to add an effect just to this. So let's just uh, focus in on this. Now, all of your options, you'll see there's no buttons out here to do anything all of your options are actually up here in the top left so if we tap up there you can see we can cut copy you can trim you can do all the things you can insert silence uh, which is good if you're doing uh, things where you swear and you need to <laughs> cut some bits out but there's actually a heap a really big effects engine in here if we tap on effects like that you can see we've got fade in fade out normalize reverse change pitch change tempo change speed noise reduction even we've got compressor we've got eq we've got echo reverb vocoder uh, and some stereo converting options so there's a heap in here and i cover all of them in the other video so we won't go into them in detail but let's just do say we want to do the change pitch because this is something that a lot of folks want to do uh, we can preview and we can play so at the moment it's the same and it's just going to play that little bit and then what if we want to bring it down See, now it's not engaging with the mouse. So this is a problem you have. But again, GarageBand has this problem too. So let's go down like, five, I'll say seven, seven half tones or semitones and play it. So yeah, it's got, again, like most pitch change and speed change engines, it can make it sound a bit weird. What if you want to go up a whole octave? <laughs> you start getting the real artifacts kicking in there. So if you want to apply it, so we'll just, again, we'll bring it down a little bit like that, you hit apply, and then it actually, it bakes it in. So this is destructive audio editing. Again, like Audacity, it's not non-destructive, it's destructive, which means uh, that, yeah, once you overwrite something, you can undo it, but it's not there. It actually literally writes in and changes the audio. So if we play this now, here's our first one, and then it's gonna go. 
So yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah, you've got those options baked in there, uh, in right into Lexus. And one of the cool things that I haven't played around. Oh no, I just said Lexus, and my Amazon, you know the word, thought it was talking to it. Um, <laughs> that one of the cool effects in here that I've been playing around with. It's actually got a reasonably good noise reduction engine in here. So if we tap on noise reduction, uh, it's got low pass filtering here, and then it's got sort of a rate and a threshold and an attacker release of noise reduction. So if we play this, so here it is without noise reduction. And then if we play that same section, can we go back? No, all right, we'll just play in the next section. But if we turn it back on, listen. It's kind of reduced my children talking in the background. Turn it off. Back on. So yeah, if you don't want to shell out the you know ten dollars, fifteen dollars for Bruce Free or for one of the other noise reduction plugins, and you've just got some noisy audio, this might be a cool way to come in here and just play around with it. So we'll just uh, we'll apply that. And there, there you go. So look, as you can see, you can even see in there that it's reduced down and those gaps in between, it's nowhere near as noisy. If we go back to the start and hit play. Better, right? Okay, <laughs> that's enough. I don't know why it shows me whistling as a uh, uh, as an example for this one. But yeah, it's, it's a cool, cool app. And again, for free, you can't argue with the price. Even though it's done weird things and even though we've got two stop buttons here and I don't really know what's going on there, it's pretty good. And here's a good part. To save it out is dead simple. All we need to do is tap on the save button. Now you can save it here in its own little world. But what I would suggest doing is first of all, changing the M4A back to WAV. You want to make sure you re retain your quality. So make sure it's a WAV file. You can then save it in here and it will just save it but that'll save it into the Lexus folder if you want to save it back so say you want to bring this into GarageBand if you hit save you can hit in the top right here and go save to iCloud and again just go into your regular browsing features and if we go to where's my GarageBand on oh, my iPad GarageBand like so GarageBand file transfer and save it move it to there then that's actually going to put it in our GarageBand file and then if we come back into GarageBand guess what we can actually come straight into here and amongst all of our other stuff, there it is. And we can just bring this version directly into here. And if we uh, play this, we'll hear that. And then any changes that we made to that one, including that pitch change, are right there. So pretty cool.